Hey there, so today we have another review and this is courtesy of David from uh, 14 Star. Thank you so much. And this is Bourbon Barrel Aged Imperial Sap Stout. So this is an 11.5% uh, 2019 release of their Imperial Stout uh, brewed with maple syrup. And so uh, Vermont known for maple syrup. Aged in select bourbon barrels and Sexton from Sexton River Distillery. So let's dig into this one. Let's let the lady pour it out. Happy birthday. <laughs> I told you, this is going to oh, be thick. Oh, this is dark as hell. Jesus I Christ. told you, it's going to be thick. In a good way. I like it. It pours out quite dark. It is a uh, deep black hue, full black color, uh, quite dark for a stout. And um, beautiful uh, medium plus to, yeah, medium plus head to that. And let's see the aroma on this one. What do you get in the nose? Mmm. I mean, it's maple. I <laughs> predominantly maple. What, what more can you really expect from a maple syrup, maple sap stout? Yeah. So there is maple uh, sap that is involved in the brew process, along with maple syrup. So. And aged in bourbon barrels. Yeah. And our lady loves bourbon. I do. I do. So on my nose, <laughs> I get um, some woody character. I get um, that kind of like. Interesting kind of like um, almost like spicy wood thing um, some some fruity wood character the, that Deep roastiness and then the maple sweetness comes in a little bit of that caramelized sugar a little bit of that maple sweetness I would will say that I will get you some maple beers. It is not that maple. There are some maple pancakey kind of intense notes that well, get in there Yeah, I worked for a brewery that that was you know one of their most popular first brews was a maple bacon stout yeah so i mean i've had some pretty mapley beers but it smells quite delicious on the nose it is a little bit meaty from that maple nose it has a little bit of umami thing it has that um real complexity of not sharp whiskey on the nose or bourbon it just has um like a nice roast and uh adjunct complexity it smells quite nice almost so, like a coffee yeah coffee roast yeah for sure thick <laughs> she was worried that the spirit would not be that thick and it has that coffee yeah coffee. like it's like a dark roast coffee yep. like that's like the first thing that comes to mind i'm a huge fan of dark roast coffees huge fan of bourbons whiskeys um yeah i mean it's that's the first things that come to mind are dark coffee it, it's a breakfast thing yeah um there's no coffee in here but there is that beautiful yeah. roast of uh, coffee brightness. Uh, there is a thick amount of that umami note that comes in. It's like a soy saucy kind of thing. It yeah. has a, like almost, it's, it's not salinity, but it is umami. And mm, the maple is not actually that forward. It's mostly an imperial style that is burned barrel -lated. So it has a little bit of whiskey note that dries it out, a little spike of alcohol. It has a beautiful, uh, thick, chewy coffee roast and chocolate thing coming in. Mm -hmm. um, it dries up quite nicely. For 11.5%, it is um, just beautiful um, complexity to it. As you wait more, there's a little bit of char that wakes on the back mm -hmm. end. So you have a little that kind of smoky char thing that drives in from the malt. Yeah. And, um, I, I definitely taste the wood mm -hmm. from the from the barrels. Mm -hmm. You know, it's... it's um, it's a delectable beer. Wow. Yeah, it's it's not overpowering. It's very welcoming. You yeah, know? I like. But the it. big note I get is there's a little bit of like this like buttery maple thing, and um, huge complexity to the malt, and then a little bit of bourbon comes in, but it, it has a, like a kind of a not quite Werther's butterscotch, but a hint of it, right? Like a like a medium minus amount. Of yeah, it's smooth. But but that Werther's caramelly kind of sweetness. Yeah. You know, I'm not saying diacetyl in here right now, but it has that kind of like um, sweet, caramelly kind of thing going on. I think it's balanced really well. It's yeah. smooth. Um, Final impressions and uh, rating. I definitely think, um, you know, it's it's very 
powerful. Yeah. I guess that would be the word I would use for yeah. this one. It, it's it's powerful in, in the fact that it's just it's got a lot of strong flavors. It's got a lot of strong coffee, dark chocolate. You know, definitely some some bourbon barrel flavor. She's I learned so much from me. Like, <laughs> what? I'm like hitting the notes. Like, ding, <laughs> ding, 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 ding. Um, but I, you know, I mean, out of out of a lot of the the beers that I've had that are more like, I guess breakfast influenced. This one is not mapley. Not mapley as no. as you would expect. Yeah. It, um, it, even even you know just just smelling it, it's not super mapley. It's yeah. it's coffee, dark chocolate, and wood to me. That's yeah. what I taste. Burr bellish, burr yeah. yeah, yeah, it's good. Rating. I like it. Um, rating, you know, um, I, I've stated before, I'm an IPA fan. I would have to say this one is. Um, I would give it a solid 95. Like, it's it's a pretty... I, I wouldn't say it's super crushable. It's one of those things that I, I, I would be a one and done. Um, you know, like, I do like my, my bourbon and, and my, my scotch and whiskey. Um, yeah, no, I, 95. Solid 95. Sure. Uh, for me, uh, this beer has a wonderful complexity to it. It is a proper Barrel Age Imperial Stout. This is where I want Barrel Age Imperial Stout to taste like. Mm. I don't want an Imperial Stout to taste like I just threw a shot of bourbon into it. Yeah. It tastes not like that. It tastes like it has a melding of flavors. Um, there's a little bit of meatiness. The umami note is quite dominant. It has a nice woodiness to it. Uh, the maple is pretty much hidden, but uh, it probably offers some of that complexity that, that I enjoy in this beer. Um, it is a proper barrel aged imperial stout, and I really enjoy that for the fact. And I really like this style. Um, if you can find it on the shelf, I don't know if you can. Find it at the brewery. Um, this is a really well executed. It has a really nice mouthfeel. Because sometimes when you have these beers that are imperial styles that are boozy, and you have that kind of like shot of bourbon or whiskey in it then it's thin and it's boozy this is a thick <laughs> i beer. told you it was gonna be thick yeah i Before called I saw this it. video she's like oh it's gonna be thick i'm like i don't know it might be one of those kind of like you know whiskey ish kind of thinner kind of beers it is not that 11.5 percent spot on it's it, a bomb. yeah it's a it's a it's it is so good definitely a sap stout like if, if you hear the word sap stout i mean it is that yeah. Like it's thick. <laughs> I will warn you that it is not a mapley kind of no. stout, but it is a really amazing, world class imperial uh, imperial barrel aged stout. Ninety seven, ninety seven. Yeah. Oh, strong rating, strong ding, rating. Ding. It is delicious. All right. So until next time, guys. Cheers. Um, really having fun. Uh, <laughs> cheers, guys. I'm so glad Later. I can drink again. Cheers. <laughs>